Is this going to crack that famous Clinton Teflon? I mean, is this actually, is this, is this going to stick to her? Well, I think you saw in that press conference, even from that little soundbite, uh, it already has cracked the Teflon. The press is antagonistic towards her. They're highly skeptical. They're sick of her spinners. What you have to understand is that, um, or what our viewers should understand is that, you know, when I was with the Clinton campaign in 2007, going back to 2007 in her first presidential bid, Hillary's staff was probably the most antagonistic towards reporters. They took this aggressive posture again. There, I would agree with you that there's definitely a liberal bias and a, a sort of tendency to tolerate some malfeasance among Democrats or issues that might not be allowed for Republicans, but that is long out the window. Uh, hmm. The press is, you know, skeptical. They, they think she's spinning and, and to some extent lying to them. Well, in, in, in a sense, I mean, she's really damaging to the party because the excuses are, are just too much. I mean, she shrugs at this press conference like, well, I don't know. I mean, what do you mean? Like a wipe it with a cloth? That's horrible. Who, I don't know if someone like suggested to her that that was an acceptable answer, but that was, I mean, it's funny, but scary at the same time. This, we're talking about somebody who's running to become leader of the free world. Yeah, I mean, levity can help politicians, but this is not the time for it. Mm. Uh, that, that comment, you, you know what a reporter hears when they hear that comment? Oh, you silly little person asking that silly little question, let alone the public who has issues and concerns uh, with her, her actions or her staff's actions. Right. Uh, frankly, you know, these canned responses, I think, only make her look more political. And the more political sh she looks, the more like a politician she looks, and the more, like, the more she looks like the worst conception of a politician, someone who dissembles, if not lies. And there could be, they were backed up, her emails were backed up to another server as it's coming out. I mean, first off, she was saying that she didn't have any classified information. Now it's discovered that there are hundreds of emails flagged and at least 60 that appears that they have classified top secret information. Her, her surrogates are, are trying to say that basically the classifications are silly, they're meaningless, uh, that she was just, I think the actual term was a passive recipient of, of top secret information, which again, it seems like these are answers, David, that they're just stalling. Uh, really good though, r rhetorical dancing, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Well, I mean, she is smart and she's a practice politician, but I would just note that, let's put aside the, the illegality or whether there was illegality. The, the FBI is now investigating this. There's an intelligence group investigating this. Those investigations will either prove illegality or not, and mm. we will find out in due course. The political problem is obvious. The, the, no, it keeps drip, drip, dripping. News of this, uh, of you know, more emails are questionable whether more emails are classified or could be classified or should have been classified. It's up to above 300 now. But more so, even if you put aside the illegality and the political strategy, or whether there, there is illegality, we don't know yet. Mm. The, it wow. is irresponsible, right? We have a Secretary of State who put her email server in a suburban condo bathroom. Yeah. Uh, and if you're the Russians or the Chinese or perhaps even a, a, a contentious ally, it would have been a prime target for intelligence reasons that right. not only puts herself at risk or could have put herself at risk, but certainly put national could have put national security at risk. And there's also the question of that thumb drive that she gave to her attorney as well. I mean, just handing out thumb drives as though it's what? It's Halloween candy. I mean, that's, that's not proper protocol for the State Department, is it? It's certainly not proper protocol. Listen, in the end, we know that Hillary, what's so baffling here is why did she do it? Why did she take this course? In 2009, a second presidential bid was certainly on her mind. Mm -hmm. and, and so let's, let's presume for a second that no illegality was committed. It still brings us back to the central question that brings up the worst stereotype and concerns about the Clintons. Right. And that is, the spinning, the dissembling, the secrecy, the thinking you're above reproach or you're above no the norms that other people should be held to. And so clearly she made this decision to try to, because perhaps one suspects if you even assume the, the best, that she expected to run for president, that she knew that she would be held to account and that her staff thought that they could have safe communication sort of off right. the grid, if you will. Uh, ironically, all of that has now come back to, to bite her.